Shocking images now coming in of a mentally challenged child being put in chains have come in from Gonda, Uttar Pradesh. The child who has been tied up in chains and left to fend for himself in a shed had an inflammation of his brain in the year 2006, following which he lost his cognitive abilities. The family, unable to pay for his expenses, have now decided to keep him under chains. The child has been kept in chains for nearly eight years now. He's forced to eat his meals in the tied-up condition. The family of the child stays in Mankapur Tehsil. The chain miner used to be a meditative student before he fell prey to the debilitating mental condition. The family says initially took him to every hospital in Lucknow but couldn't cure him. <laughs> डॉक्टर ने बताया इसकी ब्रेन की सारी नसें फट गई हैं अब इसकी इलाज संभव नहीं है और इलाज है तो आप नहीं करवा पाएंगे बहुत पैसे लेंगे तो हमारे पास इतना पैसा भी नहीं है इसके कारण इसको जंजीर में बांध कर रखते हैं हार्ड ब्रेकिंग विजुअल्स ऑफ अ चाइल्ड इन उत्तर प्रदेश बीइंग ट्रेन फॉर द लास्ट 18 इयर्स देयर द रीजन व्हाई वेल द चाइल्ड हैज बीन टाइड अप इन चेन्स एंड लेफ्ट टू फेंड फॉर हिमसेल्फ इन अ शेड he had an inflammation of the brain in the year 2006, following which he lost his cognitive abilities. The family says it's unable to pay for the expenses of the child and has decided to keep him under chains. My colleague Amir Haq uh, would be getting us more details on the story. Amir, heartbreaking story coming in from Gonda. Can you give us more details? Why is it that the family continues to keep him chained? Is there any which way that medical help can be offered to this child? Well, absolutely. Uh, PT, and this is not just a one-off story that we are witnessing from uh, Gonda. There are a number of cases, uh, especially in Eastern UP, because remember, uh, Japanese fever and encephalitis is quite common over there. Uh, well, all these uh, children, especially uh, since uh, uh, this is uh, 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 this is one uh, fever which affects mostly the children there uh, in this age group, uh, they are rendered uh, mentally. Uh, challenged and mentally unstable and this is what perhaps has happened to this uh, child as well now uh, but, you know the problem is that uh, the district authorities there uh, uh, the uh, the doctors there uh, as a part of a government scheme should have done something to take up his matter to to give him further treatment because remember the uh, the family of the victim uh, clearly says that uh, they wanted to get her uh, get uh, this child more treatment from Lucknow and from elsewhere but they couldn't do it because they, they are very poor they couldn't aff afford it uh, financially so clearly this comes upon uh, the district medical authorities right. to perhaps come forward and take yes. up his case because there are a number of such cases who, right. uh, who get neglected just because and you know uh, Amir that's the, the reason why Amir stay with me you know I'm sorry for coming in but just stay with me but taking off from what you said because now it is the turn of the district authorities to possibly step in and we are joined by one such person Nahid Lahri Khan Member, Uttar Pradesh Commission for Protection of Child's Rights is on the phone line with us. Mr. Khan, what do you do in a situation like this? You know, you can't penalize the parents in this case because they are too poor. They don't know better. This poor child chained for the last 18 years. What, do, what does one do and how does the administration, people like you, step in to offer help? Yes, yes. actually, I just came to know about it. So uh, uh, after I talked in the district administration, so I just left a message there. And we're trying to level this now to just get some help to this poor child because we understand that the parents are very poor. They cannot afford his treatment. So, you know, rather such cases are off and on coming up. And I think it is uh, due to lack of shelter homes also in few areas that uh, these children cannot be looked after. You know, there can be more shelter homes where these children can go where parents cannot afford to, uh, you right. know, treat the children, keep the children if there's more shelter homes. Then Ms. Khan, you know, there should there. be, there are a lot of should be's that uh, are pertinent where this country comes into play. But like I said again, you know, you're a member, you can, you're in a position to make a change, maybe not into many children's life, like my colleague Amir was pointing out, but possibly to this kid's life. How, what, no, what are you going to do? Can you give us, uh, you know, a, no, no, what is it that you the, will do? We will ask the district administration to immediately provide, in fact, I've already put my office people on this, to immediately get in touch with district and administration, give maximum help to this child as well as family because it is not alone this child who is suffering from eight years. 
it must be his family also what pain and what problems they are facing in keeping this child unattended and uh, untreated so you know this treatment should be given to him so this can what kind of him. what kind of help in terms of physical help uh, no. will you be extending will the administration be extending Yes, the uh, administration should immediately give him medical uh, uh, attention is uh, required for this child. So you are saying that will happen. You know, like we said yes, again, yes. We, we can keep getting lost in shoulds, but uh, will it happen? No, certainly. We are already now. Uh, ever since I just got this news ten minutes back, your person called from uh, uh, yes. from headlines today. So immediately I put my office on this, and they all are getting in touch because now we are in Lucknow, and ours is also a new commission. So we're just getting in touch with these people and trying a level best that you know immediate attention should be given, immediate treatment should be given to this child. So I we are just on our foot right now. All right, you know, Miss Khan, appreciate you joining us, uh, and we would really like to believe with what you are saying because you are in a position right now, ma'am, to make change. Maybe not to hundreds of children out there, but possibly to this young kid's life. Eight years he's been chained. His family is too poor, don't know better how to treat him. There are a lot of people who are watching this special broadcast, Ms. Nahid Lahri Khan, and a lot of them, with what you have just spoken right now, would be looking at the possibility of you actually enacting on what should be done. Appreciate you joining us, ma'am, and appreciate the kind of commitment at least you've shown right now on the special broadcast. We would be following it up, and hopefully this child will, will get help, not he should get help, but will get help.